Hey, good morning. Today's Thursday, May the 7th. Uh, it's nice and early in the morning, 7.45. We're taking off for a quick flight to take this plane over to Hastings. Uh, it's only about a 15 or 20 minute flight, and we're taking it in for its annual. So when we get up and heading that way, I'll talk through some of the things we're going to get taken care of on this annual, and uh, some of the things that uh, we know might need to get done and we'll plan for in the future. Also, uh, instead of doing a bunch of editing, I'm just going to leave this thing running the whole flight. So you get to come along for the whole thing with me. So I appreciate you being uh, on the channel. I uh, can't say how uh, proud I am of the growth that we've had. Uh, and thank you for your support. And let's keep it going. So I'm going to get out on uh, runway 25 here at Sparta and, and get out of here. Sparta traffic, Mooney 6708 uniforms, departing 25, Sparta. As part of traffic 26708 uniform, it's downwind 25. I'll be departing to the east, Sparta. Hey, we're going to keep it nice and low today. Really, really no reason to go high. Uh, again, it is a short flight, so we'll go up to 2,500 feet. Just kind of skirt around uh, Grand Rapids' airspace. It was pretty bumpy there at the bottom as we've. Uh, got about a thousand feet up now it's certainly much smoother and we're just navigating today with uh, with FlyQ I think I've mentioned it before that I use FlyQ as my EFB I know a lot of folks use ForeFlight which is also a great product but uh, I'm just going to use FlyQ, fly BFR over there. Uh, certainly pointed in the sun right now. But we're just going to pull her back to cruise already, 23 and And we're just going to get a quick cruise checklist. So cow flaps, it says to close them up and leave them open. No reason to close them right now. 
Uh, we're just trimming the level flight, which we're already blasted past our altitude. Manifold pressure and RPM set. Make sure I've pulled back lean just a little bit, checking my EGTs. And uh, the engine instruments, oil pressure is good, cylinder temp's good, oil temp's good, gears up and indicated. We're gonna get back down to 2500, just work on skating us some Grand Rapids airspace. All right, so this is our first annual. I'm really, uh, you know, I really don't know what to expect as far as cost is concerned. I know that there's a flat rate that we'll be paying uh, and then incremental above that. We're going to a, a not a Mooney specific dealer, which I'm sure I'll get chastised for, but or a Mooney specific service center. But we're going to uh, a guy that has been recommended highly, does a lot of work on Moonies and is pretty local to us. So I'd be real curious. Uh, I'm gonna post this thing today and hopefully uh, we get the annual done in less than a week or you know who knows how quick it'll happen. But give me a, give me a comment down below how much you think it's gonna cost. And, and in complete transparency, I'll put another video out kind of detailing the annual and I'll tell you how much it costs. Uh, I think it's it's only fair to the uh, to the viewers to just kind of know. I mean, I, it's part of the journey uh, how much this stuff costs. So, so some of the things I'll give you some insight. Some of the things we're going to get uh, done. One, we've got a little bit of an oil leak that we want to get taken care of. Uh, so no big surprise there. We've also got uh, Mooney specific service bulletin SB. Uh, I think it's. M2202, it's uh, for a shim in the trunnion, the nose gear trunnion. I already bought the shim from Lazar, um, and we're going to have that installed, and then kind of the, the rudder and nose wheel re-rigged. It's a little off-center right now when you're on the ground, and it's real dirty. Uh, so that's what this service bulletin's supposed to take care of. So we're definitely going to have that done. We've certainly got some linkages throughout the plane, uh, some Himes joints that need attention. So we're gonna go through and find as many of those as we can that need to be replaced. Um, and then, you know, we'll start just seeing what we find from there. Of course, we'll get an oil change and all that fun stuff. I do wanna take a few minutes and have them look at this autopilot that we have. It's a ARC autopilot, which I know is, it's old and people don't use them. And, you know, it's about the most dated thing in the world. But playing around with it on the ground, it seems to work. But in the air, it, it doesn't really do what I think it should do. Uh, so I want to learn what's feeding it. I think there's a gyro in the back. And I want to see if we can uh, take some action, maybe uh, maybe get it working. You know, if I spent $100 and got that working, uh, it's just one little value add for the plane. Uh, and if we put an hour or two into it and it, it doesn't, get working, well then maybe we know that we need a different autopilot, if we so choose, you know, I, again, that's a lot of cash. Really, what a beautiful morning. Smooth air, 2,500 feet, just absolutely gorgeous. We're, uh, you know, 2,300, uh, 23 inches and 2,300, and we're cruising at uh, 130 knots. Uh, uh, nine gallons an hour, so. And we're low, you know, 2,500 feet. I told him I'd be there at eight. We're gonna miss that for sure. So some of the other things that, that we know we need to plan for, but we, you know, we just don't know when we're gonna put the money into it, uh, are some things like uh, the, the rubber discs, in the, in the uh, gear assembly, the, I guess you would call them shock absorbers, shock, shock discs. Uh, we're pretty sure that at least the mains need to be replaced pretty soon. So we'll get that taken care of. I don't know if that'll be this annual. And of course there's, you know, tons of other little odds and ends that I'm sure will pop up. You know, my dreams of this plane are, you know, to put a little bit of a newer avionics suite in it, an autopilot, really turn it into more of a, 
an IFR platform. Although it's good now, of course we always strive for a little bit better. Not to say I'm not pleased, I'm certainly incredibly pleased with what I have. But the thoughts of putting in a GTN 650 or even a 375 or uh, like a pilot fund just did, he put in the Dynon suite. Uh, that looks pretty awesome. I'm excited to see that flying. And uh, hopefully today, maybe you've seen it by now, I got uh, all three cameras on and hopefully that tail camera worked. That was a bummer last time. Got a couple planes around us. Again, I'm just watching this on EDSB. Looks like they're quite a ways above us, about 3,000 feet, but we're chasing them down. You know, I really like morning flying. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to get up and, and get after it, which is what I'm doing right now, of course. Uh, not always so easy for the wife, though I have to work on getting them motivated to get up a little bit earlier, maybe. And get out here and enjoy this beautiful, smooth air. Unbelievable. We're going to just start heading south now towards Hastings. Take a little sh shot and put it up in the, in the corner here. see the flight path we're taking. I'm looking for some traffic still. That ADSP sure is a wonderful thing. Looks like he's traveling away from me now. So we're gonna go into Hastings 9 Delta 9 the identifier. I've looked at a plane here and, and did a takeoff and landing and flew around in a plane I was looking at buying some time ago, uh, but I've never actually flown into the airport, so it'll be a new one to check off my list. You always get a little bit concerned, or you know, this is my first annual. I, I guess back when I was in high school, uh, my dad owned a 172, so we went through an annual or two with him. Uh, I always get a little concerned. I mean, the plane's flying beautifully right now, and everything's going nice and smooth. Kind of the same way, you know, I do a little bit of auto racing, and uh, it's kind of that same uh, mentality. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, not that we're following that mentality here, you know, we want to make sure things are, are inspected and, and taken care of. But you get a little nervous because it's flying so beautifully now, just what's going to happen uh, when we take it in. So keep our fingers crossed, nothing negative. Looks like we're flying, just about to fly right through Grand Rapids' current approach. Uh, looks like everybody's still 3,000 feet above us or, or higher. Just something to be aware of. We are well outside their airspace. But. I 
could have I could have flown directly over Grand Rapids. There's no doubt about that. Just giving him a quick call, and you know, it would have been all good. Uh, but I was really looking to spend a little bit more time in the air this morning. A 13-minute flight direct didn't sound like too much fun, so it sounded like more fun to to just do a little bit of a a detour. Uh, direct since we're clear of the airspace now we'll just punch direct into our GPS direct 9 Delta 9 we're four minutes out 9.2 miles that just gives me a better indicator of exactly how far out we are uh, I do like uh, the FlyQ product but I don't have it uh, set up as a really good uh, I don't really have it set up good uh, to show me exactly how far I am right now so Anyways, we just used the KLN 94, which works really well. So, 9, uh, nine Delta 9 Hastings has runways 1, 2, and 3, 0. Land on 3, 0 today. We'll just uh, kind of midfield crosswind it. For runway three zero. We're just going to go through our landing check real quick. Not going to get our, our uh, gear down quite yet. We are going to get our car beat out and start slowing it down. right off our nose.
again, a little bouncy, you get a little lower. There's one, two, three, zero. Looks like three, zero will be the runway today. Just gonna midfield, hop a quick down one. There's pattern altitude. Uh, gear speed, get our gear down, gears down and line. There's a hundred, so we'll get our first couple pumps in. Traffic 46708 uniforms final 30 Hastings taxi all the way to the end. down. really bad.
All right, we have arrived. So I'm gonna get this thing shut down and uh, go in and uh, check in with these guys and see if we can get to work. Check in a little bit. <laughs> 